CK3, EO4, Victoria 2, and then finally culminating in Hearts 1 and 4, because number one, Vicky 3 does not exist, and Stellaris, I will just pretend does not exist, because it doesn't make any sense for a mega campaign. If you've watched last year's mega campaign, if it weren't for Italy, we certainly would have lost. Because of that, we are going to start a new game in Italy, and one of our greatest generals was Thomas Safarik, who did encircle two divisions with his one no intrigue. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Thomas Safarik, the Duke of the Ducci of Tuscany. Let's become a friend of the Pope. 99%. I like to see that. We do need someone to marry. That's one thing that I miss a little bit in CK3. The uh, people finder in CK2 was just so good because it could filter for everything. That was way too fast for my liking. And now we are friends with the Pope. He does like us a lot, which does mean if we wanted to take request claim, we could just easily request a claim. I will first try and become a friend of... <laughs> I'm not gonna try, I will become a friend of the Kaiser. Twins! And both daughters, that's... Great, very good, yay. Polish scholars have long devoted themselves to the study of blah 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 blah. I have learned much from the works of Al Savrali and Ibn Zina. I don't think those are Polish names. We are friends with the Kaiser and the Pope. We are probably the strongest person in here. 40% chance to seduce the Kaiser. Please help, I got cucked by the King of England banging my wife and I can't divorce her and I don't have enough intrigue to murder her. Imprison her or just bang his wife? Or him. Oh. Are you serious? You have 800 men with another 100, my 2000, against 7.5k. Fuck that. No, I'm not gonna join. <laughs> Greetings, my charming vassal. You have been a loyal and devoted, and I wish to reward you for your service. Position of Marshal of the Holy Roman Empire. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Duchess Inga is Bregas again. Maybe this time it's gonna be useful. What's wrong with you? That's just a Polish Muslim. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. There's no place I'd rather be. I can't wait to go home. <laughs> Mood! You really couldn't have chosen a better font. That's a fucking real card. Okay, well, yeah, I wasn't interested anyway. Another feast! Jesus! I suppose that's the king lifestyle. Chill the entire time. Eat, drink. A little bit of war. Lombardy, let's go. Give him my title. My son! Finally! You shall be known as Thomas II the Second. Oh, and you're even quick. Uh, sway, getting personal. Oh, right, I was swaying the Kaiser. I completely forgot about that. So, what about gold? Has <laughs> expressed clear suspicion. Uh, actually, our stewardship isn't even that bad. Come on! We have 12 stewardship, you have 7. How can we be suspicious about this? Give title. We need one more county, okay. I didn't even try to switch. We aren't even friends, right? Oh, he's scheming to seduce us. Well, you are a man of God. 60% is too little. I've been scarred by XCOM. 60% is too dangerous. Yes, 60% is passable results. But as I said, I've played XCOM. 90% means it's a 10% chance to hit. So 60% is still a 10% chance. Unless it's a 95% chance, everything is risky. Da -da -da -da! That's not part of Italy! I'm a moron. It's a stupid one-legged poet. Jesus, what are those stats? <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend. I suppose somebody like that would have been objectified. Uh, I mean, that's not a friend, but I'm gonna take it. 100% chance to Romans the Kaiser. Yeah, let's just go with the gut. With 100% chance, what's gonna happen? The soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. Did I pay him off? Wait, I had one. I had 100% chance. The game lied to me. I thought I could just pick whatever. XCOM trauma renewed. God, I'm I'm looking so forward to Vicky. The soundtrack is just playing Vicky music again. Oh my God, yes, I want it. No, I don't want white piece. I want to enforce my demands. This is piece of kingdom of Italy, which does mean the kingdom of pasta. Finally, as king, you have new duties. <laughs> duties. And responsibilities. Yes, let them see their co- Oh, look at that, our beautiful courtroom. That's definitely useful. We could get ourselves council rights. Let's give you a few more levies. I'm happy with that. We are just gonna take the prestige. There we go. Sitting on my throne. Oh my god, I mean this guy. <laughs> Can't even get on this one. 67 years to repair a hide. What kind of hide is this? I'm getting scammed here. Yes, that was what I was waiting for. Yes. Vassal, vassal, vassal. Because now we are Italy. We have the jewel on all of this. Thank you for the cat. Scrape the barrel. 
That's a reference! I love reference! Yeah, maybe. Okay. Good boy. Pet the cat. He is a trickster, so good things come in small packages. Morsel of sand tape. Thank you. Ah, wait a minute. This is an opportunity, but I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, eight years. Uh, maybe he's just gonna die of a heart attack or something. Another daughter. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Daughter. 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 Son. That looks like a daughter. Daughter. It's femgirl. I suppose we're gonna go with blood. A gift fit for my wife and queen. You're the second one, so no. Pretty sick again, man. Our health is fine, so no more than is necessary. She's been often been objectified. She's a woman. That's the safe pick. I'm trying to become your friend right now. 3,000. My brother in Christ. I'm in a civil war because of this. Oh, not a cold war. Polish Muslim gets trunked. I don't really plan on using you anyway, so... Uh, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's... Norway against these guys. Sure, I'm gonna help you. Pay ransom for your daughter, Queen Thomas. I'm only surrounded by incompetence. And I'm one of them. How did you get captured? Your war contribution, 22%. Okay, now I can piss off. Oh god, that's just... 5,000 people here. Honestly, I think we just have to give up. Autonomous vassals is not that big of a deal, honestly. Especially, you know, we can immediately just pass the law again. There we go. That war was pointless. I can sponsor somebody. Oh, sponsors. Money. Yes. Welcome to the world. Backup plan. May you grow strong or die. I don't care. Ah, spoken like my father. Oh, a crown. Yes, of course. I want a crown. Already do have a crown somehow, but I want a crown. Homosexual. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I'm homosexual. That's not my kid. Oh no, that's femgirl. Okay. Drenched in excrement. Oh, gains overflowing diaper for two years. <laughs> Oh god, her diaper hasn't been changed for two years. But I mean, six court, Grandor. And she's the sixth child anyway, so... Oops, I accidentally clicked. Too bad. <laughs> okay, fair enough. What is this? What is this? Fine. She shall be called Crusader Kings 2. Second in line to inherit the HRE and first in line to inherit Kaiserslautern. He's holding up well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if he's a Muslim Pole, 72 years old, and he's still alive as my court physician, then I can really trust him because this guy knows what he's doing. Kid, congratulations, you are now a duke. Hey, it's our stupid poet again. He was weak-minded, right? Leg sweep! Catch the movie the gift giver, two gold! Woo! Let's go! Two gold, I'm rich! There we go. We shall get the duchy and the clan city of Pisa. 530 piety for a county. Daughter would be pretty good. She is a Polish Muslim. Perfect. She's a drunkard, which uh, can be dangerous, but hey, that's perfect. I do miss that CK3 doesn't have that many map modes as well. 1200 piety for the HRE. I mean, that's pretty cheap. This is you, allegedly. <laughs> He will bleed in the morning and have to buy a new carpet. Which carpet? Honestly, yeah, just take it. I would have given it to you for free anyway. An alliance with my daughter. Those are not glasses. What is she wearing? Back in my day, we used glasses for seeing. Not to look like a science experiment. You're a death's doorstep. Okay, within a year, we shall... Uh, okay, never mind. We have played 36... Oh, God, 36 years. I forgot that I called her Crusader Kings. <laughs> that was very confusing for a second. Wait, what? Crusader Kings reference? In Crusader Kings? What? That sounds absolutely cursed. A Muslim Russian. Fuck, I shouldn't have named my daughter Tomas as well. You've been a lawyer. Ooh. Spy ma You've made a grave mistake, my friend. My liege. I will gladly take this position as your... Spy master. I could form a friendship with my daughter. She is pretty and quick, so... The Shield of Florence. Woo! <gasps> Byzantine Empire. Something's changed. I missed something with France. Oh god. The HRE is just gonna be huge. France good ending. <laughs> I hereby grant you the 
Duchy of thank you? Oh god, the culture map mode in EU4 is gonna look atrocious. <laughs> the Norway-Italian alliance. <laughs> He, he got knights, that's cheating. But I have friends. Friends beats knights. Uh-oh. Oh, let me be the Pope. Ah! Thomas II, the second, the second died. At least we still have the war and my son and heir. You already know it. Thomas II, the fourth. Okay, what are your stats? Do you... You're learning based. Oh, you idiot. We got the Pope. Pet cat. That's the movie too. France has been pretty much absorbed completely. First thing I'm gonna do, I will get the Spymaster Council position because we do have the proper vassal contract. War declaration sanctioned. We for one get cheaper CPs within the realm, but we can also just declare war. Our heir is also the king of Scotland right now, which does mean if we dispose of a few of these, we do get Scotland. Uh, wait a minute, what just happened? Oh, we were, we were just on a house map. <laughs> Whew, I thought the HRE got reformed or something, man. They're also gay. Just everybody in my kingdom is gay. Thomas II, the fourth of Italy. I hate myself. We have Thomas the two, the four of Scotland, but also Thomas two, the fourth of Italy. Both sons of mine. I don't think I really want to give you my my guy. But we would get an alliance that's insane. Sure. Oh, this is, this is gonna be. This could be dangerous. Now we just need claims. My injured son, Thomas the second, the fourth. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it up to the physician. He knows. Wait. My. <laughs> I just told my physician he should decide, and then my physician was like, yeah, okay, you decide. You're the professional. Is clinging to life. Uh, dramatic, drastic measures. And he comes of it. He died, which does mean we lost our alliance to Byzantium. He fell by accident. King Thomas of Italy has brought forth undeniable evidence of my role in the death of... What? He just confessed immediately after killing him. The Kingdom of Scotland will flip to my grandson next. This is the first time that I realized that the CK free texts do change. This is you, though you don't always feel like yourself. That's cute. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with Italy? No, you would not. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with Italy? Everybody just has their daughters and they're all sent away. I hope I don't have to take the Bavarian. Good. Anybody? Come on, we're in the Reich. Please, there must be a circle somewhere. Sure, let's marry the kid. Of course, he's incestuous. It's CK3. I do miss CK2 combat, man. That was so much better than CK3 combat. Now, give me the stupid duchy. Oh, wait, wait, what? I don't think this would have worked in CK2. To clarify, in CK2, I believe I would have had to land her first and she would have been independent because I didn't land her because I can't give her lands because she's a woman. <laughs> Once she died, it would have flipped to her kids, which are part of a dynasty of my vassal, thus flipping to me. But I guess I'll also just take it directly. You can claim your liege's title. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I was very confused for a second. I thought we became the emperor of the HRE because this guy is the Kaiser of Italia. And then I was super confused how this guy is suddenly my heir. But he formed Italy. We are free now. Oh my god, yes! Okay. Now who do I have to siege out? Löwenstein. Although that looks to be just his allies. Seriously? Who do I attack now? We will free ourselves from your rule and the tyranny of your liege. That's bullshit! This is the Italy Battle Royale. Just the way the HRE was meant to be. Come on, just chase those three guys. <laughs> Finally! We caught him. 1,000 fame, we get 1,000 prestige, and the new emperor. It is now up to me to lead the vast empire. My vassal prince Heinrich left behind. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown and smoke. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. But first we will pause. 69 in the world, let's go. Funny number. <laughs> Wow, due to your obvious lack of piety, I have granted myself a claim on the kingdom of Romana, bastard. Katarina Safarik got the kingdom of Jerusalem. <laughs> we got a bunch of gold, sure. Let's change the contract of this little kid. Crusader Kings. Crusader Kings. 
With the passing of my father, Emperor Thomas, the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon me. Our heir is now Prince Serafino, which is also the heir to the Kingdom of Scotland. Yes, it does all work out after all. Oh god, everybody just joined this faction. It's not looking good at all. Okay, we need to arrange a marriage if possible. Fuck, you already sent everyone away. And the Queen of Scotland is too old. We can't get any more kids. Can I send you hostages? Oh wait, he is a duke. Ancona, that should be part of Romana. Okay. If I just give the kingdom to somebody who likes me, let's say, for example, you. <laughs> Whew. Manage that one. Avoided certain death. You are Safar. And the Pope wants a claim on the Kingdom of Italy as well. Seriously, Mr. Pope? You are not gonna live for long. Okay, thank you for not pausing the game when I pressed space. Thank you, Paradox. I love this game. Again? Okay, what even is going on now? Who at what we are? Here's a war. Here's a war. Okay, cool. Uh, now everything is just burning. How old are you? You're 23. Okay. So please just pop out 20 children. We need to. We need non-aggression pact and alliances. That's 10% chance to seduce. That's... Uh, I'm gonna send you some gold. Maybe that's gonna help. Can I gift you something? The crown of Safari. <laughs> and now I can steal it immediately. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal it back. Surely she's not gonna notice if I have the crown again and hers is gone. You're in line to inherit titles. We can get Jerusalem. Ah, uh, too far away to interact with. Come on. But surely I can pay somebody off to kill him. Oh, fuck. Now we own Scotland as well. Ah. <laughs> Everything is burning. You know what? Let's just end CK3 here. You know, we're in a perfect spot. Italy has been fortified. We own everything. There we Wait a minute. There we go. We own everything. Italy is secure. And, you know, it's just, yeah. It's just 300 more years. That nothing would happen anyway with the AI. Another betrothed. You. Marriage. I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, it's just Flanders. It sucks, but... It's fine. Two daughters. Okay, two daughters are not perfect because we still don't have a son, but we can work with this. This is Safarika. Throughout the ages, we lost the Apestro. Oh, oh, oh. The cripple. Did we not lose Flanders or did we inherit it again? The Drip King. Oh, a new throne, a stone of scone. We get this renowned vessel and it's called Gondor Bonus. Gaelic opinion, Scots opinion. Yes, very good. Although I like the previous throne more. We have Excalibur and the lands of Scotland. To the handsome Emperor Serafino. Ooh, I call it uh, in the Liberty War against a few of your vassals. Sure, let me join. Seriously, at some point, you don't have a wall anymore that you can drill and hammer through. Now that I think about it, it's probably just a hobby of his. And he has a battalion of mock walls to just hammer and drill into. You die. What was that? Did he just get a heart attack or what? Five billion factions just popped up. CK3 just throws. I got so many factions that the game just crashed. Okay, we need to send this guy something that he likes. Do you like small children? Oh, he loves small boys, okay. It doesn't matter that I'm not playing Hearts of Iron. Paradox games still don't make sense. You becomes your friend. Thank you very much, Paradox. I honestly shouldn't recall this right now. <laughs> because it's midnight, I don't have energy anymore. But I just finished editing and I thought, well, you know, while editing I did play a little bit more. I mostly just left the game running to get the Mongols and such. Which also means I did cheat a little bit just so I could keep my eyes on just mostly the editing and not have to worry about this guy dying. So I just buffed the rulers a little bit. You know, just, just a tiny bit. As far as territory, we do still own Scotland, Flanders, just cleaned up Italy. We did get Croatia at some point. The rest of the map, you know, uh, it did get Crusader King. The Mongols at some point invaded. They collapsed into the Mongols, the Ilkhanate and the Golden Horde. And the Golden Horde at some point their rulers died, so they flipped to the Ilkhanate and Byzantium got balkanized. Yeah, apart from that, we do have another cool thing, the Galu italian culture. Another interesting thing is the religion map mode. We do have King Thomas I, who formed the Kingdom of Italy. 
Then King Thomas II the second to the shield of Florence accomplished many great things but was only a stepping stone for Emperor Thomas I of Italia who reclaimed the title from the Holy Roman Emperor or I suppose the former Holy Roman Emperor and then promptly died a year later. Somewhere in here are also the ones that owned Jerusalem. <laughs> ah, Queen Katrina, there we go. Yes, Emperor Thomas II, the fall too, did technically found Jerusalem and also allowed his son to get into Scottish politics. And then his sons, mainly just Emperor Thomas II, the fall, the two. Wait, you're the same. This one is Emperor Thomas II, the fall, the two. This one is Emperor Thomas II, the fall, two obviously. He made some big reforms, he did form the religion of fanboyism and also merged the Gallo-Italian cultures together. I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna do in EU4. 